Well, I think uh, we did a little of that prep uh, prior to the game, right? We we talked about uh, going to play Golden State, and when when we win, it's just you got to move on to the next one, man. And and uh, but it, but you can't. It's a really good question because you know it's real and you know it's there, and you got to you got to talk about it. And and uh, we've tried to be um, I don't know, give them some time to. Not dig into anything. We didn't, we didn't watch any post game film or anything on it uh, until this morning. So we just did a whole day yesterday to kind of to um, rest and recuperate and survive those emotions. And hopefully we'll be ready to go tonight. Obviously, stepping up to a challenge like Golden State is an indication of how good your team is. But how much of an indication is it when you can play a Cleveland team and can still be just as focused and still execute? Well, I think. Um, you know, here, here's what I think in these games like this, right? You know, you're going to get um, their best shot tonight. They're, they're playing much better. They've got they've got a new juice and energy and a pace about them, um, and we're going we know that we're going to get their best shot. And you've got to play the full game, like like you can't get frustrated if you know it's, it's a close game in the third quarter or they're ahead. You know, I mean, those things are going to happen, and you just got to keep playing through them. And um, uh, that's that's the main thing, man. Just just um, we always take the game as it comes. You never really know what's coming until the ball goes up, and uh, there'll be a, there'll be some waves up and waves down, and we got to kind of ride them, right? And and just take them as they come. Obviously, it's a new year, and so much has changed on both sides. But when you come in this arena, do you think of uh, the last three years at all? <laughs> <laughs> no, now it's all ended. I, 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 I am now. Now that you mentioned it, no, no, I haven't. I haven't given it much thought about any of it, you know. And and it's like, uh, you know, there's so many scenarios like that that just have like nothing to do with where we are today. You know, I mean, I, I mean, we we sit around at the coffee shop or whatever, and we'll talk about them. Ten years from now, but they don't really have anything with, to do with what's going on. Like, like our record, our recent history, their recent history, playoff scenario, all that stuff just um, just doesn't really matter. What what matters to us is, you know, are we going to focus in here and get some work done? And then when it comes game time, are we going to execute the game plan? And and if we don't, how soon can we get back to it? And and how what adjustments can we make to change it if the game plan is is off? Or you know if we're going to run a certain coverages and they're not right? And 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 somebody's got it going or whatever. You know I guess that's all falls under the adjustments thing. But but a focus and a play hard mentality and um, and uh, trying to figure it out as it goes is is where we'll be. Do you miss game planning for LeBron? Do I miss it? Uh, well, we had one. We had one a while back, and we'll get another shot at it. But not terrible. I don't miss it t- too terribly, no. <laughs> you talk about Cleveland and the juice that they're playing with. What does that translate to in terms of what you have to be prepared for, have your team prepared for? Well, I just think that, um, you, you know, uh, you've got to understand that they've just got a different – I think just a different psyche, really, right? I think I think they have now fallen into a thing. They believe in each other a little bit more. They believe in, uh, you know, they're playing 10, 11 guys that, that come out there and try to play, and and guys are, you know, when when you used when you saw them play, maybe you're like, oh, you know, Jesus, this guy wasn't didn't play that well or whatever. But they're all contributing now, and they're all trying to contribute. And they're all trying to be on the same page, and and um, they're sharing the ball a little more. They're playing a little faster. Uh, they're guarding better. So. You just got to make sure your guys are aware of that. I mean, they're going to feel it when, it when they hit the court, so you try to get them prepared for it.